This is the future. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Warframe video. In this guide I will show you everything you need to make your Mesa the best Warframe in clearing most of the content in the game. Take note that bosses are not included though as this is an ultimate peacemaker build. So let's not do any long introduction and begin this video. So first let's talk about top forged Archon shards. Slotting Crimson Archon shards for secondary critical chance instead of ability strength benefits peacemakers overall damage output better due to the higher chance of her regulators triggering the base three times critical multiple supplier rather than the capped additive bonus afforded by increased ability strength. If you have all five Tau Forged version of the Crimson Archon Shard, then not only you increase the damage output, but you are also close to the Red Crit Peacemaker build. Moving on, uh, let's talk about Arcanes. Currently, uh, the best in slot Arcanes for Mesa is Arcane Avenger and Arcane Velocity. But how about Arcane Energize Squad Leader? Honestly, after the Whispers in the Walls update, Arcane Energize is nothing but an ordinary Arcane anymore, and there's a better setup for Mesa when it comes to solving her energy problem. Right now, you have the Energy Nexus mod that provides three energy per second. Pair this with the Xenurix Wellspring and you have insane energy regeneration. Now, I know this won't work while Peacemaker is active, but you can instantly restore full energy within seconds by adding Nourish in your build. My Mesa build right now has a very low range and it's suboptimal when it comes to uh, inflicting the max stack of Viral in an instance. In case you don't know, taking damage while Nourish is active causes an explosion with a 12 meter radius that Viral damage with 10 Viral stacks instead to enemies. You may think that the best build is to have some range to proc the viral, but players are missing the extra feature of the ability that adds viral damage to all weapons, including Mesa's regulator pistols. Every hit you inflict to enemies while using Peacemaker will not only proc you the status you have in your regulator, but also the viral procs you get from Nourish. I was always using the Seda's Whisper combination in the past since it pairs well with the galvanized status mod in my regulator pistol, but Nourish right now is the best helmet ability for me because not only does it allows me to regenerate energy super fast without the help of Arcane Energize, but it also adds viral procs in my regulator pistol. With corrosive and heat in my pistol, then with the viral procs from Nourish, the damage becomes insane that you can melt enemies easily with this kind of setup. Not to mention that the regulator pistol can also proc slash impact or puncture, which adds more fuel to the galvanized shot mod. In addition, Arcane Velocity will ramp up the fire rate of regulator pistol, and when enemies hit your health, it will proc Arcane Avenger, which increases your critical chance to orange crit numbers. The only mods you can replace in this regulator build are the dual status chance mods, which you replace depending on the faction you are facing. In terms of the new Murmur enemies, you can go with Corrosive with the help of Pistol, Pestilence, and Jolt, then add Accelerated Isotope for the radiation element. For Corpus factions, you can go with Radiation with this same mod, and then add Magnetic for those enemies that has high shield values. To complete the red crit setup, you must use Secondary Outburst in your Secondary and then the Incarnate Ceramic Dagger. Secondary Outburst is a secondary arcane that consumes all melee combo multipliers to increase secondary weapon critical chance and critical damage upon swapping to a secondary weapon. We would need 12 times combo multiplier in our melee to have 240% bonus critical chance in our regulator pistol while using the secondary outburst in our secondary pistol. To do this, we need a melee weapon that can stack a lot of initial combo count stats and the Incarnate Ceramic Dagger is the best melee weapon to do this. Incarnate Ceramic Dagger has this third evolution called Adept Reflexes that gives plus 20 initial combo. We can pair this with Covert Lethality and Corrupt Charge to gain four times combo multiplier at the beginning of each mission. The best part is Incarnate Ceramic Dagger has five star Riven Disposition that you can get more initial combo stat from it. Currently, I have a Riven that grants me plus 32 initial combo, which gives me five times combo multiplier at the start of each mission. The Whispers in the Walls update added an R mod called Ready Steel that grants all the party 24 initial combo at the start of each mission. Some say that it only gives you the bonus initial combo at the beginning, but it will be gone once you have done a heavy attack. While the wording is not clear, but I have tested it several times and the 24 initial combo stays no matter how many heavy attack you do in the mission. In my case, with all the initial combo mods and the Incarnate Ceramic Dagger, my combo multiplier always starts and stays at 7 times combo multiplier, even if I do any heavy attack or proc the critical chance bonus from the secondary outburst. Honestly, initial combo build are so busted right now since you don't need 
combo duration, if somehow you can get 12 times combo multiplier without the need of smacking your enemies with your melee, then it would be better as the initial combo will stay for the rest of the mission. Okay, we are not done stacking initial combo yet with Mesa, and as I've said earlier, we need 12 times combo multiplier to get the maximum bonus of secondary outburst. This can be done by the help of Incarnate Ceramic Dagger and with its second evolution called Gun and Blade. Every time you kill an enemy with your primary, you gain plus one initial combo up to a maximum of 100. Right now, with all the combo count I stack in my Mesa build, I am sitting at 122 initial combo and getting the 100 initial combo from Gun and Blade means that I can finally get the 12 times combo multiplier active every time for my secondary outburst. The best part about this is that your regulator pistol kill with Mesa counts as primary kill, so each time you kill an enemy with Peacemaker, you will be granted the bonus initial combo from this perk. So basically, all you need to do is just be an aimbot, get the 12 times combo, and proc a the secondary outburst critical chance buff by simply swapping from your melee to secondary or vice versa. You can do this by simply pressing the melee key and then pressing the aim button to proc the secondary outburst buff. With Arcane Avenger, you can get some red crit numbers in your Peacemaker, and you can get to see all red crit numbers by adding the out as a Kavat with the Cat's Eye buff in your setup. When Cat's Eye buff Arcane Avenger secondary outburst with five Crimson Tau Forged Archon Shard, you will get that red crit Mesa build. However, a Darza Kavat is trash that you will often see it recovering from being downed instead of getting the full advantage of the Cat's Eye buff. I would not suggest Adarza Kavat right now, but I'm hoping in the upcoming second part of the pet rework, we will somehow see some other buffs on the Kavat and Kubros. Right now, this is the best Mesa setup that you can use to destroy almost all content in Warframe. It fixes every problem in my Mesa. I have no energy problem with Nourish and the Energy Nexus mod plus the Nurek Focus. Not to mention that I also have viral damage in my regulator pistol with Nourish. I have maximum damage output with orange to possible red crit numbers and it's so easy to get these critical numbers in Mesa right now. The good news is that you don't have to spend countless hours in the Deveria Paradox mission to get secondary outburst as with the Arcane Dissolution System. You can possibly get the max version of it by dissolving Steel Path Arcane and getting a chance to get it from the Deveria Arcane collection. Or if you have some platinum, then you can just buy the max version of it in the market as the price has just crashed and it's cheaper right now. I did post a Mesa video weeks ago, but it was trash, to be honest. It got lots of suboptimal things, and I thank all of the guys in the comment section for giving me the ideas for the best Mesa build. So that's all about the information you need for this Mesa video. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in my next video. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future. Evolution. This is the future.